What's up guys, Zelda Inferno here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time we began our adventure, and uh, woke up in some weird alien chamber. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's basically it. Uh, and we discover this giant tower thing. Uh, don't worry, I didn't die jumping off, I know a lot of people have. Uh, <laughs> you know, that, that that's bound to happen to someone at some point. In fact, I, I wouldn't be surprised if my first playthrough of this game involved a death from uh, the top of the tower. But, you know what? In this episode, we're going to be heading to this mysterious little shrine over here. Uh, but not before taking out this entire uh, camp of the goblins over here. Uh, now, we do have a bow. So let's give it a shot. Yeah, there we go. Always try to get a headshot. It's so helpful. Also, you know, I, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and not go stealth stealthily. I, I think I can take on all these dudes. Like, they're really nothing special. <laughs> but they are, uh, really destroying my weapon here. Oh, well, that, okay, that, that was it. Okay. That, that works. That, that works, I guess. Okay. Everything's on fire. Nice. Alright. You know what? I might as well, okay, I was, I was gonna see if I could break it. But, you know what? Let's try that. Yeah, oh, a Highland Shroom. Yeah, we already have one. Okay. Well, oh, well, I, we did have one, but I think I ate it. Um. Alright, let's, uh, get this chest and this weapon. The shield will probably be a little useless, but for right now, because I'm sure we'll get a better shield pretty soon here. Uh, yeah, some Bokoblin camps have a chest that can only be, uh, obtained by defeating all the enemies. We got another travel sword as well. Um, also, we have a cooking pot. Cooking is, of course, very important in this game. Uh, you could also pass the time, so if there's a certain quest that can only be done at a certain time of day, uh, this is a very helpful thing or if you just like it to be a certain time of day so uh i'm gonna go to noon just to, to give us a little bit of extra daylight here because we kind of wasted a lot of time uh p doing shit with this old man you know uh of course we also have uh a bunch of crates I we'll probably end up destroying our axe uh but before we do destroy our axe we can also of course chop down trees that's always that's always nice we are literally fucking Minecraft right now. Very fun, and of course we can get wood from it. Uh, any time you have a weapon that can break through uh, crates, don't be don't be shy. Abuse those crates because you may get something very nice in return. I mean, we got a we got some arrows. I I, I don't think that was a bad haul. Well, I mean, we got some some more over here. Yeah, I'm probably really just wasting my axe, but, you know, what are you going to do about it? I mean, I, I, I really wouldn't say I did. We, we got quite a few arrows from it, um, but I am actually going to go back to my sword for right now. And it looks like we have really no way of getting across other than to uh, swim, so I guess that's what we're going to be doing. So yeah, let's let's go. I mean, Link is very, very used to water in this game, I, I can see. Um, try not to dash too much because you will be fucked. <laughs> uh, Link can't swim very well in this game. I actually really hope they kind of adjust how swimming works in Breath of the Wild. Not only allowing us to dive and actually go underwater, maybe have some really cool underwater civilizations I think would be amazing. Uh, but also just, I, I think it's kind of pointless to have the stamina meter while you're swimming. I think it just makes, like I get that it helps you think a bit smarter, but really it can be just a, a nuisance at times. Also, uh, we have this chest that, uh, oh, okay, <laughs> Omen Owl Shrine. Uh, I, I'll explain the significance of that in a bit, but we do also have a an EX chest here. Any chest that has EX on it is DLC. Uh, this is just a ruby, I believe, so uh, yeah, no, nothing special. Um, but yeah, Omen Owl, I believe some of the shrines in this game are actually anagrams of Nintendo developers, and that one specifically is none other than Eiji Aonuma, uh, the producer, or I guess in this case, director of Breath of the Wild. So, 
yeah, th th some, some really cool Zelda knowledge for you guys. Sheikah Slate confirmed. Travel gate registered to map. Access granted. It just opened its hole for me. Thank you, we're trying. I'm, 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 I'm a little creepy. I'm not gonna lie. I, I should know. I should know my place. <laughs> uh, I'm just too much for myself. I swear. To you who set foot in the shrine, I am Omen Ao. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Yeah, uh, this is probably the only time I'm really going to show that off. Because, uh, yeah, it could be a little annoying to just have to sit through that cutscene every single time you enter a shrine. So I think I'm just going to be skipping it throughout. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, let's uh, put her Sheikah Slate here. Let's see what we got. Sheikah Slate authenticated. Distilling rune. And we got Magnesis. Rune extracted. So, yeah. Something very new to Zelda are the runes. Uh, this is all, by far one of my favorite tutorials in video game history. And I know that's saying a lot. And that's a bold statement. But, you know, there's good reason behind that. Literally... The Great Plateau is a huge sandbox, and it's literally the opening segment of the game, and they introduce you to new mechanics without holding your hand and limiting what you can do. You know, obviously, I mean, I guess this is kind of a linear shrine, but even with the shrines, many of them you can solve in any way you want. I've seen people so solve shrines in ways that I don't even think Nintendo expected you to solve those shrines. Uh, but yeah, in the case of Magnesis, it's just a really cool magnet that you can latch on the metal objects, help you grab chests, stuff like that. It's definitely one of, one of my favorite Zelda items, I'd say. It's just so much fun. I can't wait to see what runes we get in Breath of the Wild 2, because I'm sure we're going to get some new ones. I mean, we already saw what looks look to be like a reverse stasis, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Alright, let's move this out of the way, and we have our first guardian, I guess. Our first- Oh, whoa! That was- That, that was not good. I, I apologize that you had to witness that. That was- that was that was really not good. Um, I'm better now, but wh where did that metal block go? <gasps> where did it go? Okay, there's that one. Is I don't is that the same one? I don't think that's the same one. Oh no, this is that. This is that one. I guess it didn't really matter. Uh, but let's, I kind of would like to get some of these out of the way without killing me. I'm, I'm okay. So I'm still kind of relearning the controls, and I did actually play this game like a few weeks ago to kind of familiarize my, uh, myself with the controls because I'll admit uh, recently I've kind of been neglecting my Nintendo Switch and have been mostly playing my PS5 or PC. I'm sorry Nintendo. I'm sorry. I'm not the Nintendo fanboy I once was but I still love Nintendo obviously. Uh, but yeah, I kind of was so used to like my PS5 DualSense controller that I, I just uh, kind of Kind of have been neglecting my switch, so I want to show this off real quick. You can basically kill this enemy. Oh, I did not mean to do that. That what the hell did I just do? I did not mean to do that. But yeah, you could just you could just kill the enemy with. Nope, nope, nope. That no, no, don't do that. Yeah, I, I'm kind of sucking right now, but yeah, you just, just like that. 
it probably would be a lot easier than that if I remembered how to uh, play video games. Uh, but, you know, what What matters is we got the job done, and oh my gosh, this is the most basic puzzle ever. Why, Nintendo, would you create something so simplistic? Like, oh my gosh, everyone needs to stop supporting this company, I swear. <sighs> Freaking child's play, Nintendo. If you're gonna tell, I'm being sarcastic. This is kind of part of my personality, I guess. Oh, that, that was such a fail. Okay. Let's see what we got here. And we got a Traveler's Bow. That's not the bow I mentioned in the previous episode, but I will show off that bow in just a bit. Once we're done with the shrine, actually. Alright. Don't, 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 do not close on me, please. Thank you. Okay. Hey, uh, you're looking pretty hot. Never mind, you actually look like you're dead. Link is horny on main. I swear, man. You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Omen Owl. What the fuck happened to Anuma? The creator of this trial. I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of the goddess Hylia, and dedicated to helping those- Yeah, thank you for skipping so fast. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. Yeah, so, uh, we're about to witness a death literally right in front of us in the name of the goddess Hylia allow me to bestow this gift upon you yeah so he gi gave he gives us a gift <laughs> and then watch this he he's gonna make the ultimate sacrifice he basically gave us his heart link's just like what the fuck did you put inside me like what and we got a spirit orb this game's new heart container i will Explain later on When it cut when we come to that point may the goddess smile upon you and Like that we've witnessed death. I Mean I, I mean links <laughs> link is no stranger to death. I think he 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 out of every person Knows what death is like Because he, he commits a lot of murder why does this dude just keep calling me that? It's kind of not nice, sir. It seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. Are you fucking stalking me, sir? <laughs> Clairvoyance! I think I probably butchered that word. Ho oh, ho, well, perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. <laughs> but perhaps that is not true for everyone. Ho ho! <sighs> the appearance of those towers and the awakening of the shrine. Hmm. It is all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. <laughs> I, can, I, I could just be an annoying little brat and be like, Paraglider, please! I'm, I'm not like that. I'm gonna answer nicely. It has been quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah Slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah uh, inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again, but apparently couldn't help against Calamity Ganon. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. Yeah, I, I, I spoke too soon then, I guess. It is interesting, however, to think that how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. Hmm. Yeah, I also watched someone die. <laughs> uh, that was pretty cool, I guess. They, these shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across the, this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. <laughs> Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines and I will give you- Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That wasn't the hmm. deal. Oh, well, I supposed I changed my mind. You can't do that, sir. You really can't do that. That's fucking bullshit, my dude. That is not right. You... you fuck you. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. Oh, because I'm young. Yeah, well, I'm also fucking lazy. <laughs> Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. Oh, that helps me so much, guys. <laughs> It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. 
How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Are you fucking kidding me, my dude? Oh, oh. I am afraid not. But not. But do not worry. I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah slate. Oh. Alrighty. See those blue icons? You should recognize the caves. The cave where you woke up. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke. The shrine you came from and the tower. You could travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Or so I heard some, quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. You're getting my hopes up and now you're going to disappoint me. Well, you will be happy to know that it does still in fact work after all of these years. And it is no, it is not a legend. It is reality. At least in the world of Zelda. We can now fast travel, which is a fucking lifesaver in, in a game this big. <laughs> All right, uh, what the hell are we doing up here, sir? Hmm. I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. You are magic. Did you fly here? Like, uh, how, how did you... What? I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, leave an old man his secrets. Damn it, old men. Always being fucking magic and not sharing their, their deepest secrets with us. Now then... I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. Did you know about the scope on your Sheikah Slate? Look through it, and you could stick a pin anywhere you'd, you'd like to mark on the map. Yeah, th this is very helpful. Because there's just so much to take in this game. The pins on your map serve as, a reference, as reference points for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. Interested in. Yeah, h how do you know all this? Like, you really don't seem like the type. Like, I'm not trying to be rude, but it's, it's kind of true. Experience, wisdom, instinct? Call it whatever you will and believe if, it only if you so please. Okay, then. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. Uh, I, I will do just that, and we can already see one of the shrines. That is not what I meant to do. That is not... Yeah, no, 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 no. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Let's place one pin. Okay, let's see that we can't go to that tower. I think, yeah, that we can go to this one too. Where? And there should be one more. I might have to readjust my angle. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I probably have to do that because, I, yeah, I know exactly where it is. It's right there. It is right in front of me. So, yeah. Let's go. And we should be good. Is that all? Mm -hmm. Having trouble finding the shrines? T yes, I'm totally having trouble. No, I, I'm good. I'm good. So yeah, let's let's go shrine hunting. I, I think we, that's a good place to start. Oh, whoa. I was actually scared. I was about to face, face death. I talk a lot about death. Great. I mean, this game can be actually pretty difficult. So you always want to watch out. I mean, to be fair, it's only really difficult in the beginning hours of the game. I mean, there, there, there's always a, a, a little bit of challenge, no matter where, no matter where you are. Especially some of the tougher enemies in the game, like Lionels. Which, uh, speaking of which, if uh, I was playing in master mode, uh, there would be a Lionel on the Great Plateau, and I guess that's a perfect segue to talk about uh, kind of why I decided to do a normal mode Let's Play this time around. So. Master mode can be a bit infuriating, and after watching Zelda Master's video, uh, I doubt he'll, he'll ever watch this video, but hey, I mean, I guess there's a shout out there. Uh, it kind of really turned me off of continuing doing Master mode, and the one thing that really convinced me not to do Master mode was fucking auto-regeneration, meaning if you do not kill an enemy quick enough, they will begin to slowly regenerate their health. I think it does stop after a certain point, but it's definitely annoying, and especially since I really want to show as much of the game as possible throughout this Let's Play, I kind of want to be able to do it without 
wanting to pull my hair out. For example, Trial of the Sword, which is a part of the DLC, is close to impossible if you are playing it in Master Mode because you have to get a near-perfect run, uh, mostly due to auto-regeneration. And I've seen people actually get through it in Master Mode, and I'm just like, fuck, man, I cannot do that. I am super impatient when it comes to things like that. Uh, so, yeah. And that's just kind of scratching the surface of why I decided normal mode would just be a, a better fit for a let's play. And also, uh, another thing. Oh, before I get attacked by enemies here. These guys. Oh, well. I was going to say these guys are very weak and die in one hit, but then I get attacked. Yeah, but really, I mean, technically it's two hits because you have to knock their heads off their body. But after that, it's basically one hit and they're done. I got a Boko Spear. Great, it's a very weak weapon that I probably won't be using. I mean, it's better than nothing, though. Like, if we're being completely... If I'm being completely honest here. Um, but another thing that's really annoying about uh, Master Mode is the fact that there's a fucking watermark. Uh, a, tri a stupid little Triforce watermark throughout the entire game, even during cutscenes, and I don't know why it had to be there. It is the most obnoxious and pointless thing ever. I think you'll be able to tell if you're playing on Master Mode because you've literally loaded up Master Mode. You don't need a watermark to explain that you're playing in Master Mode. <sighs> Rand aside, uh, we're seeing some, uh, some weird ancient machines. Okay. Oh, well, that, that's not good. That is not good. But I have to, I have to be man over, it has to be man over machine. So you know what? First try! That's what I'm talking about! Hell yeah. You have to really have good reflexes to do that. And I'm actually quite shocked that I was able to do that in one go. Without getting obliterated. But I, I, I am happy. Oh my gosh. We are literally about to come across the best item in this entire game. Guys. Thank you, Nintendo, for advertising your oh, the system <laughs> that everyone's probably playing this on. To be fair, if you are playing this on Wii U, you will still get a Nintendo Switch shirt. Meaning that Nintendo's just like, why the fuck are you playing this on the Wii U? Like, why? <laughs> but yeah, that that's fun. Should I... You know what, I'll just show it off. Uh, this is not gonna be my main outfit, obviously, but I feel... I feel the need to at least show it off to you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Nintendo. <laughs> and to be fair, there's some people that will literally speedrun the game wearing nothing but the Nintendo Switch shirt, so it's... It, it's always... It's always good fun to have. And like I said, I'm just gonna be skipping through these intros because... Uh, why... Why did I jump? Because why... Why the hell would I... Would I watch him? I think I, I jumped thinking that the skip button... That, I don't know. I, th I just thought it was a skip button, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I forgot. I think this is the bomb trial. Yes, it is. Okay. Definitely one of the most useful runes that we get. I mean, they're all very useful, but some are definitely more useful than others. Shigasly authenticated distilling rune. I mean, there are tons of puzzles throughout the entire game that involve you to use every single one of your runes, so... You know, I can't really say there's a rune that's super, super useless. But we also get two types of bombs. One, uh, you know, that rolls, and one that's stationary. Uh, so yeah. Rune extracted. How How's my robot voice, by the way? It's probably really horrible, but, you know... It's better than nothing. I figured I'd, gi I I'd give my Let's Play a little bit of pizzazz. Alright, so without trying to blow us up, ourselves up, let's go ahead and... Oh, no, that's not what... That, that's not how you... There we go. Perfect. Yeah, you detonate your own bombs in this game, but it can actually be quite annoying if you're caught in the, uh, in the range of uh, where, you're, where the bomb's exploding. And, but, uh, oh yeah, also you have infinite bombs, but it is on a time limit, and later in the game, uh, you'll be able to upgrade your runes to have faster reload times, which is always nice. 
And yeah, Traveler's Claymore, nice. Bond our inventory as well. I will 100% drop one of these uh, Bacoblin arms. What am I doing? Right here. Okay, yeah. Uh, no, actually, you know what? This is even worse. Let's get rid of that and replace it. Get the Traveler's Claymore. Nice. I will not miss you. I did say that... I'm pretty sure I did say that I would probably not be using it. Uh, but again, you know, it's good to have weapons on you just in case. Oh. Okay. Well then. One. Oh. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. So I guess you're technically supposed to use a stationary bomb here, but I am a bit too lazy for that, so you know what? There, that, that works too. Oh, and we also get to have a little bit of fun here. Yep. That's why, why? <laughs> Link, I am, to be fair, it's not Link's fault, it's my fault because I, I suck with controls. Um, but yeah, let's just, uh, let's just drop that. And then, in a little bit, we're gonna go f for a little bouncy, a little bouncy action. And... Oh, nope, that, that, there we go. That's what I'm supposed to do. Bounce! That was fun. I didn't quite make it, but it was still fun nonetheless. Alright. Are you gonna die in front of me too? Uh, spoiler alert, they all do, so it's not really something you need to witness. It is not something. In fact, we could skip this as well. <laughs> so yeah. Second spirit orb. Nice. And you know what? Uh, for a little bit, I think we should do a little bit. We should do some exploring. You know, even in the beginning moments of this game. There's so much to explore. So I think for a moment, let's take a break from... The shrine hunting and focus solely on just the exploration but not before blowing up this little pathway so let's go ahead and do that yeah there we go nice and don't worry no enemies are going to be uh respawning or at least ones that we already killed uh because a blood moon hasn't appeared yet as uh well, I mean, I was going to say I'll explain what a Blood Moon is later on, but the game will basically explain it itself. Uh, so we'll, we'll get to that point eventually, but we can also search some of these Guardians to get some uh, Guardian parts. Uh, these ancient parts really aren't going to become useful for quite some time, but, you know, it's good to have them, at least, just to, just to grind them up, because they do actually become quite useful later on. Okay, so I don't know how I missed over this earlier, but I just find it hilarious that, you know, right after we get the well-worn pants, the game's just like, nah, nah, you need something a little bit be better, my dude. So here are the Hylian trousers, part of an armor set that we actually can't obtain the full thing to until a little bit later, so. Uh, but hey, at least it matches our current attire, I guess. So yeah, we, we look more more like a, a tan boy. We're a very tan boy indeed. Uh, so let's actually head towards the Temple of Time real quick. Because I mentioned uh, a bow that's significantly better uh, than what we currently have. Uh, I don't remember. Is there anything of significance over here? I really don't think so. Yeah, I think we're good. And, of course, it's the dude bar blocking it. Now, in Master Mode, I'd be like, no, fuck this. But here, I'm just like, yeah, let's, let, let's, let's murder. Let's murder some assholes. Alright, I believe one of these has a stack of five arrows? I think? Yes, and our Traveler's Sword is badly damaged. So this is not the, the bow that I was talking about, but we'll grab it either way. Uh, the bow that I'm talking about is actually on top of the Temple of Time. Uh, so, but, uh, luckily there is a ladder now. You could just play it very risky and climb 
normally using stamina, but uh, why would you do that? Like, honestly, are you fucking crazy? Not to mention that while you're climbing a ladder, your stamina will actually begin to uh, replenish itself. So you really don't have to worry about going too fast up a ladder. Alright, so let's go up here, hopefully not dying. I mean, you know, it really isn't that hard to uh, get up here without dying. Like, just, just be smart. Uh, but yeah, up here there is a chest that has a soldier's bow in it. And you know, it's not—it's obviously far from the best bow in the game, but starting out, it's a, it's a pretty good bow. Uh, but that's not all, because let's, let's uh, just sneaky snack up onto the very top of the Temple of Time, the very, very top. I'm actually gonna wait a little bit because I'm worried about my stamina. Yeah, you, you can get, uh, you can cook food later in the game that gives you extra stamina or will replenish stamina, but as you can see right now, I, I don't have anything like that. You can also kind of uh, trick the game into like, you, you can still kind of climb up and uh, replenish your stamina at the same time. And then we see something a little bit sparkly. And don't worry, once you're up here, your stamina will replenish itself. Uh, but yeah, what is this? Oh gosh, it's one of these fuckers again. Yeah, you found me! Yeah, two out of 900. Great, thank you. Thank you for that. Now how the fuck am I gonna get down? Actually, you could just press B. It's, it's really not hard. But then, you just gotta go to the side here. So that when we drop, we'll actually... Have a good place to uh to land here. I was actually kind of worried that I was gonna fuck up. Um, yeah, I think the ladder's on this side. I do, in fact, think it is. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I was, you know, uh, in my last attempt at filming this episode, because yeah, th there were. Oh, that was close. Uh, this is like my third attempt at filming it. I kind of flung off the. Uh, actually, no, it was my first attempt. Alpha this. Yeah, I had a lot of problems uh, with this Let's Play. Uh, <laughs> I'd rather not go into too many details, but essentially, I tried jumping off the... I tried jumping, and uh, I accidentally missed that ledge there, and I fell to my death. Actually, no, I don't think it was to my death. I think I had like a quarter, if not half a heart left. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm not going to make that same mistake again. Um... So I, I did say I would do a little bit of exploring. I mean, we did we did go into the Temple of Time and, and whatnot, but I think I'm actually going to save a majority of our exploring for the next episode. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break uh, from shrines to uh, focus on just what else the Great Plateau has to offer because there's so much that we still haven't seen yet. And that all happens in the next episode. So guys, be sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it, as well as be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all my content. But with that being said, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, guys, I've been Zelda Inferno, and I'll see you later. Bye.